So today we're doing famous artists. Let's go over the famous artists we did so far. Who remembers? What artist is this? Good job, Jackson Pollock. Very good. Which artist is this? Piet. Good job, Mondrian. Good job. Three, what? Primary colors. Good job. Who remembers who this is? George Sa. Good job, George Surratt. Point, point, point. Pointillism. Good job. And who remembers who this is? Georgia. Good job, O'Keefe. Very good. Then we did Helen. Frank and Taylor. Good job. Bleeding tissue paper art. Good job. Then we did Mark Chagall. Mark Chagall. Right? Do you remember? Good job, Mark Chagall. Stained glass windows. Good job. Then we did Charles the, the Mute painted numbers. Good job. Then we did Maurice Pendergog. Good job. Tissue paper overlay. Tissue paper on top of tissue paper. Good job. You such good artist. Oh my goodness. Then we did Winslow Homer. Good job. Large versus small. Good job. Then we did Henry Matisse. Cut paper patterns. Good job. And then we did Hidden Message by you. This is Maura Laura's hidden message, right? You have to find the message. Then we did Peaceable Kingdoms by Edward Hicks. Edward Hicks, Peaceable Kingdom, good job. With all the animals and peoples living peacefully together, right? Then we did Edgar Degas, pastel colored ballerinas. See, some of you did this, some of you did this, right? That's what he liked to paint, ballerinas. Then we did Vincent Van Gogh, sunflowers, yellow sunflowers, right? Vincent Van Gogh, he liked to paint sunflowers. Then we did an Israeli artist, Menashe Karishman. What did he like to paint? Good job, sheep, sheep, all kinds of sheep, polka dot sheep, striped sheep, right? Then we did Pop Art by Andy Warhol. Andy Warhol, Pop Art. Then we did Leonardo da Vinci, Mona Lisa. What is special about the Mona Lisa? What is special about the Mona Lisa, guys? Good job, the eyes, her eyes. They follow you wherever you go, good job. Then we did an American artist, Norman Rockwell, good job. And he liked to paint things that happened every day, right? You remember the painting that Maura Laura's son has in his bathroom? A little boy getting a shot where? <clears throat> in his tushy, silly bunzik. Norman Rockwell, good job. Then we did Claude Monet. And Claude Monet liked to paint water lilies and a bridge, a beautiful scenery with water lilies, right? Last week, Maura Laura sent you a paper to do Paul Cezanne. And Paul Cezanne liked to paint baskets with apples. Remember, we said every artist likes something else, right? Paul Cezanne liked apples and baskets. Today, we're going to do another Russian artist, like Mark Chagall, another Russian artist, and he liked circles. That's what he liked. He liked big circles, little circles, swirly circles, tie-dye circles, same color circles. He loved circles. And his name is Vasily 
Kandinsky. Maura Laura made this type. She made two, I'll show you two samples. You can put all kinds of circles or these. You see, they're different, but still circles. Maura Laura is giving you a choice. You can choose whichever one you want. You can make these circles. You can make these circles. You can make these circles. You can choose whichever one you want, or you can make these circles. And inside, put all kinds of circles. So you choose wh whichever one you want. And remember, it's your art. You can even take a, an, a clean piece of pa paper and glue or dot paint all kinds of colors, a rainbow of colors. As long as it circles, you can even make swirly circles. Whatever you want, it's your art. So remember, circles. You're gonna paint circles because Vasily Kandinsky loved to paint circles. Good job. Do a beautiful art. And remember, keep your all your artwork for your portfolio. Do you remember what a portfolio is? It's a, a bag that holds all your important documents. So just keep it. Hopefully when we come back and see each other again, we will put it in your portfolio. I love you. Have fun doing artwork.